Hello everyone, so this is gonna be probably a rather short video because I don't have too much to say about this fragrance but I still wanted to make a video now as I recognize that it's super hyped. I didn't realize this until recently and so I went to a Louis Vuitton store and tried it and even asked for a tester and they gave me one. So I'm talking about, you probably already know it, just a second, <laughs> oh my god, YouTube professional at work, uh, Imagination or Imagination as I like to call it by Louis Vuitton. So first things first, when I tried it, um, I was first like, yeah, okay, I mean, that's, uh, that's like freshy. But I have to admit that um, the dry down, which unfortunately on my skin lasts very, very shortly, was really good. Like the creaminess, the citruses in there, the oranges, the bergamot. It really is a very nice scent. But on my skin, it has brutal performance issues. I'm not sure if it's because maybe in this one it's less strong than the sold version i have no information about this if this is the case of course then this longevity issue is um, not very comparable i don't want to open about batches or stuff like that because i cannot hear it anymore since aventus i i hate this word to death or lot number oh god so i'm just gonna spray it for a second Oh, I already get this very, very nice, um, very, very nice, fresh. Yeah, right off the bat, it smells really like an openly, uh, um, a freshly cut orange mixed with a, uh, with a lemon. Yeah, the, the, um, the head note, um, is not very... Uh, comparable to the dry down the dry down gets a very nice um scent cloud where i even got a compliment by a lady i was talking to because of a business thing and yeah so it's definitely if that stuff would last longer on my skin i would really think about buying it because it's because as you may know from some previous videos i'm not a big fan of freshies Especially in the designer area, you can literally hunt me with that stuff. For example, the highly hyped and loved Aqua di Gio Profumo. I actually hate Aqua di Gio Profumo. Like, I cannot take it. It's um, not my stuff, especially I, as I am not a freshy fan at all in general. But then the synthetic stuff just kills me. It's not my area. I love, I love, I love gourmand fragrances. I love slightly oriental not too oriental fragrances but this one is really nice like it smells very 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 high quality like so um if i would buy this online or on louis vuitton directly i would pay 100 250 euros for 100 milliliters and would have the chance to refill the same bottle for 150 euros which would be a good deal in my opinion but for me, the thing is the longevity. I even sprayed it before I met um, a beloved person of mine who said that she absolutely loved it. And I sprayed a lot of it, a lot, like seven, eight sprayers, and she did not even com comment it once. And it was sprayed one or one and a half hours before that. So maybe it's my tester here, but the longevity, and projection lasts super short and that's why it won't be a buy for me but definitely be if this was stronger this is an amazing scent so make sure you check it out it's definitely worth checking out i don't necessarily get why it is on number one on certain websites like this is crazy in my opinion because there are so many more complex and more beautiful fragrances but that's the way the hype train too too is doing you know one influencer saying oh my god and everyone else following 
Still a nice send, but not a number one car uh, candidate for me. So I hope you're all doing great. Love you guys and have a nice day. Ciao.